Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? So today we're going to talk about the, we're going to go back and go into more detail about the cat can stoves. And I'm going to do a boil test on both of them. I haven't really been able to get out at all uh, on the trail with them. Just been pretty busy. And with winter coming, with winter here, yeah, I don't do really much hiking in winter. But i uh, got to try to do some of that. Yeah? Yeah? Because you like, you like to hike in the winter. You like to play in the snow. So yeah, we're going to just take a look at these stoves again and uh, see which one I like better. And I'll try to see if I can decide. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so first we got this little guy. This is uh, just a traditional uh, cat cad stove. And uh, I got this stuff for alcohol. It's a gas line antifreeze. And uh, this seems to do the trick. I haven't been able to find any heat. So... We'll try out this stuff. Okay, we just carefully pour some in just, just below the little holes there. Perfect. That was pretty much exactly the right amount that was left in there. Okay, so I got my Pika kettle here with uh, two cups of water. So we're gonna see how long it takes for that to boil. Put that up. Just let it prime up a bit. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna try this out. Beauty. So let's see how long it takes for that to boil. I started the stopwatch. One thing I really love about this thing is it's it's its own little stand too. So it's just a perfect fit. And this stove can actually for storage when uh I'm packing all my stuff up in my in my backpack fits nicely right inside the uh, kettle. Even I can even take like both stoves and uh, this stove could fit inside the other one and the other one inside here. And I've talked about these stoves in a, another video, the unboxing uh, video, when uh, um, the subscriber uh, Hiking with Epilepsy sent, sent them to me as a gift, which is really awesome, and I, I love them. <laughs> and uh, anyways, yeah, you can check out that video. I'll put a link up in here. Oh, she's almost ready to boil, looks like. There we have it. Five, five minutes to boil two cups of water. Awesome. That's just perfect. Okay, so. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Okay, so. Now I'm just going to let this one burn out. <clears throat> and we'll see how long that takes till it uh, fully burns off all the fuel. <sighs> Had to make myself a coffee with. Figure why not. Uh, why let that uh, nice hot water go to waste? Made a nice cup of uh, coffee with my Kylo Ren mug. <laughs> Star Wars. So we're at just over over eight minutes. And it's still burning pretty good. Ten minutes, and it's burnt out, fully burnt out. And then we got this one he made. It's a regular. It's got a regular cat can, but it also comes. He puts in this other can, pork and beans. <laughs> if you know what uh, movie reference that is, let me know in the uh, comments. Uh, you can use like a tomato paste or any kind of other can, cut it out at the bottom. And uh, got this velvet strip, acts as a wick. It just wraps around at the bottom portion. And you stick it in to the can so that wraps around inside the the strip here wraps around inside the cat can that acts as a wick that goes around and then just two holes in there so yeah let's try this out see how long it takes to boil two cups again i got two cups of water 
And we'll try this okay. one out. I saw but with this one. I really like this one. I will see how long it takes for it. Now, uh, Drew, uh, can you tell me? And I sure I put the same amount of fuel that I used in this one. I put that same amount in here. Uh, is that right? Could I put more? But uh, anyways, let's try this out. Again, I got two cups of water. I just like I love how the burn goes around. Like it, it, that strip there acts as a wick. And again, it's like another pot stand. So another two cups of water. Let's start this timer. And we'll see. Yeah, just look at that bloom there. Okay, so while this is boiling, uh, just want to talk. Yeah, I didn't get a video out last Monday. Um, I've just been so busy lately, and I'm, I don't know what really to do for videos in the winter time because I don't really, like I said, I don't really do much hiking. But if you have any ideas what kind of videos you'd like to see me do, let me know. I'll do them um, if, if possible. Um, yeah, just trying to come up with some new ideas and stuff. Um, I'm hoping to get some snowshoes and do a snowshoe hike, get a video of that. But for the winter, a lot of a lot of the videos over the winter is going to be a lot like this. Just a lot of talking head videos. Just uh, maybe some gear reviews. Like I said before, I think uh, some gear reviews and stuff like that. So just let me know in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see. And there it is. Three and a half minutes for this one. Five, just, it was just under five. I think it was the last one. The other one was just under five minutes. Uh, I think it was like uh, 4.50, 4.57. This one, yeah, three and a half minutes. Look at that boil. Perfect. Yeah, I love it. Okay, and again, we'll see how long this one takes to burn out. Burn off all that fuel. Almost six minutes now. and Looks like it's almost done not much fuel left in there although this will probably burn actually this will probably burn for a while with the wick because all that uh, fuel gets soaked up into that wick the first time i've ever really got a chance to put them to the test i anyway, I'm, I'm loving them uh drew i'd have to say this one i like best boils a little faster and i don't know i just really like this one they're both awesome <laughs> But yeah, I can't wait to really put them out to the test on the trail, especially in cold weather. So these will really come in handy because I, I usually use a canister stove. I use the MSR uh, uh, Pocket Rocket too. But uh, the last two trips I went on, it was so cold that I uh, had a trouble getting it going um, because uh, with the, the fuel, it, it, it won't burn very good. It starts to freeze up and I have to put my hand around the canister and just kind of get some friction there to warm it up and i had a hard time on uh the last morning i was out there in the morning i could not get it going at all it'd go for a bit die right out but so i just put my usually when that happens a lot of times i'll just put my kettle in the fire and just start to die out we're at the 10 minute mark now so that's how long it took for the other one to burn out yeah it's just about done I think this one's going a little bit longer because I did, I think I've added just a little bit more fuel than the other one. And when you use uh, stoves like these, these the alcohol stoves, you don't blow them out because um, you could splash alcohol. It could, it could uh, cause, some, <laughs> cause some big problems. So usually we just let it burn out. Okay, we're at uh, 13 and a half minutes, so uh, it's still got some flame going there as you can see so yeah i just gotta snuff this out with the try this out should i put it out there you go so yeah i don't know how much longer that would have boiled for but uh, or not boiled but uh burned for but again Thank you, Drew. I really love these stoves. I think they are awesome. And uh, like I said, can't wait to try them out on the trail. Um, I gotta have some more coffee. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, these are great stoves. I'm really looking forward to using them. Yeah, I uh, was never really into the alcohol stoves. I never tried them out before. Really had no interest. I use, always used to use uh, canister stoves. Or, like I said, I'd use my fire. But uh, Drew's got me hooked. Hiking with epilepsy. He's got me hooked. On, it's after you know, watching his channel. And he's got me hooked on stoves. And yeah, these are really convenient. Super lightweight. And yeah, okay. Anyways, that's it. And remember, leave a comment. And let me know what you'd like to see. What kind of video you, videos you'd like to see me do. Um, any gear reviews or more Q&As. Um, I'll probably have a Q&A coming up soon. Um, if you have any questions for that Q&A, just leave them in the comments of this video here. All right. Okay. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. Please. If you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you.